Hello, welcome to another video. This is about the Belkin Wireless Network Utility. You can see signal strength, you can see security, you can see my computer, my router and the connection to the internet. You can also note that the network is running smoothly. This is a normal connection for me. You'll see that we also have a number of other locked local signals. However, we have some here that are not so I'm going to look at this particular one and I'm going to explain the importance of this particular setup here. I'm going to connect to an area that in actual fact has a signal strength that is less than the normal. We're going to try connecting to it and the reason why we're going to try and connect to it is because we know the signals there and we know in theory there is the opportunity of getting through the encryption type. You can see that we have a signal strength that is low though. The encryption type is none and the advanced authentication is off. Why would that be concerning? Well, as you can see we now have connection directly through the system. That is not going to be good for protecting your signal you'll see that we have uh, some information here about default gateways and DNS we also have the root information now the root information would mean that if we were to go connection on this particular IP address here through the router I'm not saying we're necessarily going to go through this particular route fully at this moment in time but you can see that if it was close enough to the signal we can actually go directly in there and because there's no encryption and the, the password isn't in existence then we can connect and actually set that up even though somebody else owns that router and also um, <laughs> is connecting through the same system the frightening concept about this is the fact that by doing that you're actually um, able to effectively take over the system and that's not a healthy situation to be in. Now as you can see we've not connected on to that um, because it's inappropriate to do so. However it has indicated to us that we have a number of other things that we could do. You can see here that you've also got the device manager and you've also got the opportunity of having a connectivity test. Now I'm not going to go into that but I am going to point out to you the fact that in a connectivity test you're pinging the actual system. Your pinging means that you actually test to see whether the signal is going to and fro. You can see that in the majority of ca cases in actual fact we have got a connection. We have an IP address, we don't have the gateway but we do have a DNS connection. So a lot of information there which ideally we shouldn't be actually able to gain access to so we should really have the locked signal as we have in all the other cases we should get to a situation where we're actually going to connect to a system that in actual fact we have the right to which I have in this particular instance and when I connect to that I would expect to get a, a request for a password for security tests uh, in the sense of a username and password because we have that locked signal. Now I'm just going to very briefly pause the video and we shall go a little bit further into this. Hello and welcome back again. As you can see I have now a clear signal through here. However let's go back to the situation we know we have a strong signal we have the open uh, section there I can do things like connectivity tests I can see if there are issues as you can see I can't get into heartbeats but I have got DNS I have got gateway I have got IP and we have done a loopback test on that particular system if I wanted to go into the router if I actually want to test the router I can click on to this particular button and I will then go into Internet Explorer through that but you'll also note immediately we have the request for the username and the password. 
so you can see that I can't immediately gain access because I'm asked to provide information I'm not going to obviously put that information at this precise second um, but it does mean that on a wireless test we can actually see straight away if you've got a front door key or if not I hope this has been of some interest to you uh, as you can see you're not able to get in so hopefully that might if you're looking at using the, uh, the Belkin wireless utility or indeed if you have a router you can see very very quickly how you can secure and how effective the security might be uh, in gaining access or not gaining access to your system thank you for taking the time to watch this video